Hello, I am the Real Estate Exam Ninja. Today we will go over the difference between real property and personal property. Property can only be one of the following two. Real property and personal property. The simplest way to differentiate between one another is to answer a question. Is the property movable? If the answer is yes, then we're talking about personal property. If the answer is no, we are talking about real property. Land and everything attached to it is rendered immovable. Therefore, consider real property. Everything else is personal property. Sometimes it is not that easy to identify real property and some objects can be confusing to classify. Just keep in mind these four ways to determine real property. 1. Real property by its nature. This has to do with the essence of the objects. Real property by nature cannot be moved without altering what it is. This is the most basic category of real property. It includes land and buildings. Imagine you bought a land with a house. That would all be real property. Also, if you plant a lemon tree, it's all immovable by their nature. 2. Real property due to incorporation. These are objects initially considered movable. Once they are incorporated in the property, cannot be removed without causing damage. Any item, fixture, or property that falls under this is a real property by incorporation. Imagine the same house, but then you want to install new kitchen cabinets. When you buy them at the hardware shop, you can take them home and move them around, and it's personal property. Once the cabinets are installed, you cannot separate them from the house without causing damage. It was initially personal property, and then converted to real property by its incorporation. 3. Real property by destination. The keywords for this group are intention of permanency. These are movable objects, and they can still be moved without causing damage. What happens with real property by destination is that the intention when purchasing it was to stay in the property. Imagine the same land with the house, but you buy a pigeon house to raise birds. By nature, the pigeon house can be placed somewhere else. However, by the intention of leaving it there, it can be rendered real property as it is intended to stay in the land. 4. Real property by analogy. The last group involves real rights of immovable properties. This classification tackles mineral rights and other rights. Now we go to the easier one. Personal property is any other object that can be owned but cannot be classified as real property. Personal property are objects that can be moved and can be classified only as tangible or intangible. Tangible property are items that can be physically felt or touched. You can also read on this as chattels. Office furniture and office supplies, business equipment, business vehicles, other movable business goods and materials, etc. Intangible property is any personal item you cannot touch. What does that specifically mean? The intangibles are all about legal rights. They are created to define a property that you own, but it is not specifically a physical thing. It can be hard to understand without examples. Here are a few possible legal right properties you may own. Stocks, bonds, intellectual property, insurance policies, franchises, and money. This is the closest example of intangibles that we can all relate to. The distinction between real and personal property is important for taxation, disputes, and investment purposes. Real estate is subject to higher taxes and is a matter of public record, while personal property is more easily concealed. Understanding this distinction helps navigate legal and taxation matters related to property ownership.